All right, all right, y'all know what time it is. Brand tune coming in with the jelly beans. I was not expecting this box. As well as as fast as they got it to me. I did the overnight, it's, you know, $100 in shipping. Get it all the way from wherever they are to Texas and place to order by 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. She's it next day. It is 10.30, so cool. Yeah. Sticker, card. Tuner module. I'm about to hook it to the bike. We need two reader cable connector, and then for the laptop to the module. Let's go get this started. All right. So about to proceed with the tuning. Okay. So I've switched off the bike. Pressed OK, switched it back on, pressed OK again. Now it's right in the ECU. And this is where it might take a while. 20, 30, 40 minutes, somewhere in there. My G file. So I will come back when that's done. So in the meantime, I've been wiping down the bike, but making some progress. About halfway there, it's been about 10 minutes. <laughs> now we are officially flashed sorry i was real real vague with all the info i gave on the clips you're gonna watch before this doing the actual flash process but it was pretty easy uh words to the wise have a windows laptop or something or some type of operating system that runs windows because uh my macbook was not cutting it i even tried parallels it was it wasn't working, so yeah. Well, my brother saved the day. Cool. Um, I have started this up already once. I do need to get gas, so I'll disregard all that. But you can tell that flapper valve is opening up because it's much louder it is. Let's go get us some gas. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be a fun ride. They patch this hole up right there. So I take this out to the track day in two days. And uh, me and Jesse are one. We're gonna miss all one. We're gonna get some. Poor guy hasn't been on the track or on a successful track day in like I don't know how long. His last four track days were like shit because his bike kept leaking coolant. Where the coolant recycles through the front hose, hose just behind the headers on his R1. Uh, it got bent, I'm assuming, whenever he got taken out at Coda. Or when Randy got taken out and he followed suit right behind him. But, it is what it is, it's fixed now. He's getting out of the shop today. So, yes sir, we're going to have us some fun this weekend. Debating if I'm going to get a Dunlop Q5 rear to go up with this Road Smart or just run it because I mean, to be honest, I've been doing some pulls. There's a lot of straight line shit commuting with this tire on the back. The stock uh, Road Smart tire. So. It's a little, got a little flat spot. got a real smooth idle very consistent right it's sitting there right above uh, 1500 god I love I love that I can't get enough of that brake where you that you put a neutral and you hold it it helps ah, can't fucking talk got like a, a bazillion things right now going on in my head gas 
Where am I going after I get gas? Is my mic plugged in? Oh, guys. This entire situation is really fucking with me, too. Ideally, I wanted to throw some Michelin Power Cup 2s on here because those tires are just phenomenal. Best front end feeling you get out of a tire is on the Cup 2. The rears, yeah, good, good amount of flex. Still rigid. Um, it's in between like a Pirelli and a Dunlop. And I don't want to go full slick. I don't want to run warmers. Kind of over that this season. So we shall see. Very consistent now. Sounds good. Brum, 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 Thinking about swapping out this master cylinder. The only reason why I probably won't is because I have the levers. But who knows? Might go full Brumbo. Sell these levers off to somebody that wants them. And this master cylinder. Alright, I'll catch y'all back in a bit. Alright, so hopefully the mic's good and all. Um, I mean, I've put about 10 miles on the bike so far. Stuck in traffic, so I'm not recording any of that. Um, just want to give a shout out to Brent Tune, how quick I got my tuner. Yes, I paid $92 for overnight shipping from wherever they're located to Texas, Austin, Texas. I, it literally came in like within 11 hours from ordering it. They shipped it out minutes afterwards, uh, after placing the order early in the morning. It was about 10, 10.30 my time, so central time. And yeah, so thank you. Uh, it, it couldn't have been easier. Now, that issue was that software though, trying to get it to work on the Mac. It just, no, it, it's just not gonna work. Um, so, Windows, Windows, it will make your life so much easier. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. I only really had to watch like one video over like three times. Just kind of make sure I had everything down over the course of two hours of trying to download everything. And not to mention, they were also less than an hour turnaround time from the time I sent my file in to the time I got my file back. I honestly thought it was going to take the one two days. And with the track day coming up, I was a little nervous, but you know, they, they, I, I, I'll definitely buy from Bruntoon again. Needs to say. Um, yeah, so a lot of responses, a lot of smooth. The bike's got a nice little, roll, 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 roll. little idle. Sounds pretty good. The e flopper, the gauze valve floppers opened up. I'll be going back to get the stage two, I believe. Yeah, stage two for you know. I want to say just a little more track focus, a little more finer tune. That's from what I. That's what I got from after reading the description. Uh, I decided to go ahead, or when I do, whether I swap the headers and use this same can, the Acro Performance can that came with this model, or this trim level, or a full SC project or something. Whichever route I go, that's when I'll be doing the stage three. So we'll go into that and uh, get some more power and some more sound. Granted, the bike already sounds pretty damn good, and I'm not a I'm not a sound, sound head, sound jerk, whatever you want to call it, anymore. I mean, yeah, good exhaust sounds good, but it's nice to have a loud exhaust. Not too loud, though. Fuck, fuck those straight pipe guys. Those stretchy boys. Those straight pipes. Get you a proper exhaust, man. Oh, sorry, guys. I just had a uh, ghost cherry limeade beer drink. My little pit stop. God, I love that. For my energy drink drinkers, Monster, Rockstar, Red Bull, Ghost. What's your, what's, your, what's your top two, your top three drinks to get? Mine's gonna be the Cherry Lime Ghost, the Mango Ghost, or the Citrus. Uh, those are be my main ones. I used to do the Rockstars and the Monsters, but I uh, don't really care for those flavors anymore. Kind of burned out on them. 
Red Bull, I'll typically do those on the time. <laughs> oh my god, that pulls so much better. So much better. Oh, uh, that's why. Camp Swift. Hey, Camp Swift, man. Y'all got a problem. Just put an ass over there. He's gonna be like straight ass. Yeah, this poor guy is shoveling shit over there. Hopefully tomorrow I'll get a, I'll get some time to take the bike out and do a couple pulls. Uh, you know, top it out or attempt to. And then, uh, yeah, probably go get my sag set from our suspension guy out south. I gotta contact him tonight or here in a bit when I stop see what his schedule is looking like because me and Mr. R1 are going to be heading out tomorrow hopefully by like 2 or 3 o'clock head out drive to Dallas or Decatur Dallas area Denton whatever get some food in our system and boom ride the track the next morning alright guys I will catch y'all later.